What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Dana Patrice, a.k.a. The Black Fairy. Welcome to all my subbies and guests. I love y'all. Thank you for the continued love and support. This is our love reading for Libra. I hope I can provide some clarity and love and light to you on your journeys, Libra. It is timeless. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell if it resonates. And it won't with everybody, but that's cool. Let's get into it and find out. What is going on, Libra? It's your girl. And I'm here with a love reading for y'all, a general love reading. So we're going to see what spirit has going on. Um, I'm going to start with the fairy oracle deck as usual. Then I'm going to get into some romance angels. We'll do some tarot to clarify and we'll get some spiritual guidance, okay? So let's get into your reading. Spirit of the universe, what's the energy for Libra at this time with love? What is the energy for Libra at this time with love, spirit? We call you forward with love, light, righteousness, and truth. Karma. Friendship in reverse. Prosperity in reverse. And I'm just going to take the first three. And the bottom of the deck, determination in reverse. Happiness in reverse. Um, off bat, the energy for me is really that this relationship that you thought was a friendship in your love life was a karmic relationship. And it really messed with your prosperity, even messed with your confidence, Libra. Um, let's get into the romance angels and just get right into it. Spirit, what messages in regards to this love do you have for us? For Libra, we seek your guidance, love, and divine clarity. Spirit's calling you forward to retreat, taking time away. It's time to disconnect from the world. Something is coming. So an engagement is happening. An ending of a separation. Pay attention to the red flags in reverse. Separation in reverse. So just off bat... <clears throat> Libra, I'm going to say that this, this relationship ended due to karmic reasons, and now it's coming back. Um, you're not going to see it coming. It's, it's probably going to be an old friend, someone that you didn't expect. Definitely an ex energy I'm feeling here. Um, and it may have went south due to financial reasons with prosperity in reverse in regards to the energy. Um, you had to retreat, again, separate, but now they want to come back to you. They're hoping that you could forgive them with the paying attention to the red flags in reverse. They're hoping that you'll be able to see this new love that they have have for you here because they're coming forward in regards to, you know, ascending to a higher level of communication. So someone is coming in and they want to engage with you and they want to take it to the next level with you. So they are coming back. Um, after leaving you for a while. Again, this is going to be very unexpected. Um, let's get into this. I'm going to get some clarity cards. Clarify retreat spirits. 
Square Fabric, thank you. Yeah, they retreated to work on things. They had a lot of obstacles coming their way with these Seven of Wands um, that they were battling and, and kind of um, working through. So they had to retreat to do that. I'm seeing Two of Cups in reverse. At that time, they did not know that you were their soulmate. Um, I feel like they're still um, maybe even unsure because you guys are so different. Even in this energy of this card, you can see this is like an opposite um, relationship in the sense that, look, he has horns. He's more human. It's almost like a forbidden relationship. And now he, because it's in reverse, I feel like this person sees that that's no longer true or doesn't care about those differences. And I was very passionate as the Knight of Wands coming back towards you to get this engagement, to re-engage with you, to get to a higher level of communication. I do feel like an explanation is coming. Clarify engagement spirit. Yeah, they want this happiness with you. They want the Ten of Cups with you. They want love. They want to start, they want to marry you. They want to move to the next level with you. They want also to really be blessed in this union with you, they see you as a blessing. Anything else for engagement spirit? Thank you. King of Wands, yes, they're very, very passionate about you. Very passionate about this relationship. Very passionate about this new beginning they want to have. Anything else, Spirit, for engagement? Yeah, they've been sitting on this for a while with the Hierophant in reverse. They were definitely in a thought process trying to gain wisdom according to the situation. They're planning to take their guard down with the King of Swords in reverse. So they're coming to you very humbly after really thinking about a lot of things um, and wanting to move forward in this passionate love for you. They're definitely coming forward to tell you that they love you um, and they want to move forward with you. Again, taking things to the next level. Clarify separation in reverse, right? So they separated from you and they, while they worked through things, they realized their love for you. Clarify separation in reverse, spirit. Yeah. They want to come back from what they walked away from you. They may have ghosted you. Maybe let, like because the night, the leaving in the night, you know, not into new horizons, but leaving in the night. And they were very regretful of that. Although it was necessary, they know that they hurt you and they want to leave behind their, that um, this separation when they walked away from you. But they're also hoping that you won't walk away from them when they return with this offer of engagement, wanting to come back, wanting to start over. Clarify separation spirit. Anything else for separation? good for that. Pay attention to the red flag spirit. Clarify, pay attention to the red flags in reverse. I think it's really just like what I said. You know, they're hoping that you can forget about the past, that you'll forget about what happened and want to take this new offer. Thank you, spirit. They've really been thinking about it, right? The Ten of Wands, they've been carrying this burden of how they left you behind and how they separated from you. Um, and it's really been taking them aback. They're really hoping that you won't hold this energy against them. They're coming out of contemplation, right? They're, they've been thinking about this for quite some time. They've been thinking about all the wrongs that they've done to you. They see it now, even here with the Knight of Coins, that again, coming forward with a new offer hoping that you'll leave behind and that you won't think too much, even with the hangman in reverse. They're hoping, I feel like this is your energy. You've been in contemplation. You've been thinking. This is what, how they see how you've probably been since this separation. 
you know, thinking about the red flags. They're only concerned with you overthinking about how they left, um, being upset and not receiving this offer that they want to bring as the Knight of Cups. And I see that they, 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 they know that there's judgment coming in regards to it, but they are hoping for a new horizon. They have really, again, themselves thought about this. Um, they, they thought about how they hurt you. They thought about how, what went wrong. They thought about um, the way they left things. They've been really in this contemplative mind, which is why they're so passionate about coming forward and giving you this new offer, Libra. Um, this person's really, really passionate about you. Spirit, what else does Libra need to know about this situation? This person coming forward. Thank you. The spirit is saying to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I feel like this is, again, this is the, them trying to take back control of your life. We did see that they were going through many, many obstacles over here when they retreated over. They had to battle a few things and that's what triggered this start and they began to free themselves, you know, so they are taking back control of their life. What else, Spirit? What else does this person want? The subscribers to know, our leaders to know. They want you to trust them, right? The situation's called, they're hoping that you'll have faith. They're worried that you won't consider them a soulmate, although they think that you are. They're really concerned that you will not take them back. Um, bottom of the deck, past life relationship, wanting a wedding. Again, we see that, right? They want to marry you. They're worried that you won't be passionate about this reconciliation, right? But they know that you could be the one. Yeah, they're really worried that you won't keep an open mind in reverse. <clears throat> they're really worried that you will not accept this offer, but they're coming in very passionately. They're really hoping that they can change your mind. Um, clarify free yourself, spirit. What did they have to free themselves from? What did this person have to free themselves from, spirit? What did they need to take back control? Tell us more about this. Thank you. Yeah, they're really, <laughs> there was probably someone that was more of like a, maybe they went back to another relationship. Remember they were, maybe this was a per third party situation, but there's some, an energy here that they had to free themselves from, which is coming up as the queen of swords. Look how angry she is. She's very confrontational. Um, you know, the queen of swords energy, she's not about the bullshit, right? She's going to cut right through the chase of this energy is what he had to free himself from. Perhaps a karmic relationship. We do have karma here, karmic cycles, you know, six of wands, but he was victorious over it. He is taking back control of his life. He does have control back over their life or they do. Sorry, this is not gender. They found happiness. And now they want this new opportunity with you, right? With the sun card. And the, the world card. Clarify trust spirit. So perhaps they left you for a third party situation. And maybe it's not even, maybe it's work. Maybe it's, you know, family. But something they had to go and deal with. Trust spirit. Clarify trust. Because I really think they're just really worried that you will not take them back after how they left you, ghosted you. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, they're, they're like hoping, they're having a lot of faith. They really don't see you taking this new beginning with them with the fool in reverse, not having hope in this opportunity with how they did you. Yeah, three of wands, but they're reaching back up to you. They're taking the journey anyways. They're not even waiting for the ships to come in. They're going to get those ships, okay? They're coming straight towards you with a lot of passion. Um, and, and they're trying to have faith in this situation. Anything else for trust, spirit?
Anything else? Perfect. Calling in your soulmate in reverse. They don't feel like you want them. They don't feel like you think that think of them that way anymore. That's what I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. Nine of Swords. Again, I can see they left you for somebody and they're hoping that you'll get over it. Look at this. He's sorry. Look at the woman looking towards and this is who he's thinking about. That's who's hanging over their relationship, which is you. This is what I'm feeling. The energy. This is just representation of you. You're this woman that in his mind. He's sorry. He's leaving behind a woman and a child for you. That Queen of Swords energy. And then we have the Nine of Wands. Yes, they're hoping that you won't be your, in your head about it. They're really afraid to come forward. They're they're scared that you're go, not you're only going to be able to think of all these things that they did wrong, represented by these skulls in the background, right? That uh, that's all you'll be able to see when he returns. The reason why it's in reverse, he's hoping that you'll be able to get past this, right? He, I feel like this energy. You may not even have known about this other family or anything like that. But they're clearing it up and they're on their way back to you. Anything else for calling in your soulmate in reverse? The high priestess in reverse. Thinking that you'll be able to see through them because you didn't know. Them not being able to really, they're really guilty about this with the four of swords. Look at how they're tied up, sword through the mouth. That's how they feel. They feel really constrained. They, they, they're they really concerned about how you move forward. King of Cups in reverse, You. this is how they, they feel you'll view them. But again, they're coming forward anyways. They're going to take their chance, even though they know they're not everything that you desire anymore. Possibly because, again, not wanting to take the opportunity, but still coming forward with a page of wands, very passionate for the queen of wands, which is you, representation of you, right? Again, look, not being able to take the offer with the cage of, page of cups. There's a lot of worry, a lot, a lot of worry with this, um, with this individual Libra. I'm going to get you some spiritual guidance. This is totally up to you guys. They're very passionate about you. Let's get some divine guidance on this in regards to what spirit says, how spirit says you should move forward. I'm going to use this divine deck guidance deck that I just got. Super beautiful spirit. What spiritual advice do you have for Libra concerning this relationship? Thank you, spirit. So we have 29. I'm still learning about numbers. I know most of the major ones, like, you know, 11 and 5, but I don't know much about these. But just looking at the aura of this card, right, it's super beautiful, as you can see. You can see that there's, I feel like something's given birth. It's almost, and the colors are very vibrant with the throat chakra. We have a little bit of teal green with the heart chakra and um, even the little whips of white and blue and even purple representing Ajna, you know, the, the third eye chakra. So there's a lot of energies here that I feel are unfolding. I'm going to look it up and read it to you guys. Just give me one second. 29. There we go. Speak your truth. Okay, so Spirit's guiding you to speak your truth in this situation, right? It said, it is time to speak your truth. You no longer need to hold back what you have to say for fear of what others may think. You are being asked to speak up and share your feelings, your wisdom, and whatever is on your mind. When you have something to say, yet hold your words back through fear, you create a blockage in your energy and life. Speak up. What, have, what you have to say is important and worth being heard. If you are a public speaker or have the desire to speak publicly, this card encourages you to use your voice and claim your power. So I feel like with this, you just need to use your voice. Spirit says, what What do you want? What is it that you want that you want to speak into existence in regards to this situation? Do you even want this person back? 
speak your truth and take this opportunity because the way that they left you, I feel like is, is very harsh, although they're very passionate about coming towards you, Libra. There's also this energy that the way that they left was very hurtful. I feel like some of you got ghosted. So I feel like you need to speak your truth in this situation. And you also need to think about, you know, speak your truth to yourself. Is this something that you want? Yes, they're very passionate about coming forward to you right now. You know, but is, is this situation wrapped up? You know, is this situation, you know, closed? Is the Queen of Swords really gone? I mean, these are questions that I could do. I'm not doing any extended today, but um, you want to think about these things and ask these questions. Okay, that being said, I, I'm going to leave this right here. You have a decision to make, Libra. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, you have a decision to make for real, and that's cool. But anyways, I'm just going to leave it right here. Like I said, um, there will be no extended reading. I did say that as well. And I'll leave you at blah, blah, blah. And if you'd like, you know, I just ask that you leave a little energetic tip by giving this video a like, maybe a comment, a share, subscribe. You can click that bell if this resonates. Donations are not required, but are available through the PayPal link below. Um, and yeah, you guys, I love you. I believe in you. You got this. You know, again, they're very passionate about you. I feel like don't let them get off easy. Make sure that they explain themselves to you. You know what I mean? And make sure that the situation has been cleared and that, that the bullshit is, is gone. You know what I'm saying? That being said, I got you guys. I will talk to you soon, okay? I love y'all.